Well, it's, uh, I think the 7th of May, and we're out here trying to get into the garden a little bit. Um, I wish I could say it's easier, but I'd like it to be. Um, we've got piles of junk, and we need to get it tilled in, but unfortunately we're still dealing with water. So we haven't dried out yet, so um, I'm going to take one of the old uh, planter boxes here. It's down a little bit in dirt from compacting. And we're going to see at least if we can get the radishes going and some of the peas going in this garden today. I'm going to just take some, uh, you know, garden soil from Menards. I'm going to put it over the top of this. I'm going to see if I can get these going. So today is one of these days where we're going to start getting into gardening stuff. Not full force because of the water and stuff, but hopefully enough that we can make a go of it, folks. So follow along and I'll, I'll show you what we're doing. kind of hunky here because it's probably been sitting in this bag for a while a lot of times when you buy dirt from the big stores it's actually been sitting in there for over a year in somebody's warehouse but we'll get some nice dirt back in this planter Look at those chunks you break those up that's for sure folks so you won't get seeds to go into those worth a darn With my radishes, I kind of like to put them in on more of a compacted soil, so I'm just kind of padding it down a bit. I find that makes it a little easier for me to get the seeds straight, because I don't like to overseed. It just makes for a lot of thinning and a lot of wasted seed. So I'm just kind of compacting it down so I can lay my seeds in nice and see where they go with the best of my ability, considering radish seeds are such brown seeds. So these are a, uh, radish seeds from our 2022 crop. Just took these out of the, I think they were in the freezer. She had them, they're still a little cold. To get these things planted in and we'll see how they do. I got some stakes to kind of identify my four little rows and we'll see if we can get these radishes up and going. There we go, got that first row in. I try to get them maybe a half inch apart. They may have to be thinned a little when they come up. Alrighty, we got them all planted. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of dirt. Start getting a quarter of an inch over the top of them. And then we'll get them watered in. All right, good. All we got to do now is just get it watered in nicely, and we should be good to go. Hopefully these radishes come up. All right, turn our attention on to the peas, which means we got to get this beast fired up for the season. I always find this... First time of the year to set her so she digs a little deeper on the latch. We've got good non-oxy fuel in it. Get her choked, get her kind of cranked up here so she'll hopefully fire up, get her turned on. Hopefully we can get this bad boy running. Let's see here, are we in neutral? Yep. See if we can get this little jitney going for the season. I 
got the peas done here for tilling at least. A little bit of noise. 2023 lawn mowing has commenced. So we are mowing now. All this water has really caused the grass to grow. So I'll put the peas right here. All right, we're compressing some rows in here. Just getting these kind of pushed in, making sure I don't got any big chunks of manure in them or anything from the chickens. Making some nice rows in here to work with. I'm not gonna really, you know, put them in any other way than by my feet because the earth is so soft because of all the rain. I'm worried that they'll just get buried way too deep. So I'm just doing a compaction right now and then we'll plant and then we'll do a light covering for the peas. All right, so now I am planting the peas. I like to plant maybe inch, inch and a half apart and just cover with a little bit of light soil and some fertilizer. That's kind of how I like to do it. Hopefully they come up. Good Lord blesses us with good weather, we'll have peas. Alright, there we go. Couple rows in, couple more to go. Alright. Almost got it all covered up. Now we'll get it watered in. 2023 pea crop is in the ground for eating. I do kind of like to compact the peas just a little bit in the soft dirt. Not real hard, but once I put a little dirt over top, I just compact them a little bit just to make sure they don't get washed away. And then we get that first watering on them. Well, folks, it might be wet and sloppy here yet, but the 2023 peas are in. The box for the radishes are in. We'll clean up some of the posts and the stakes here. We'll get the rest of this garden tilled out. Raspberries will probably start going here soon, so we'll get the dead out of them once we can see it. The cherries are already starting to blossom. We'll get our hoses and stuff out, and uh, we'll start rocking on this garden if, if the good Lord on this family farm lets us in it. So, welcome to spring of 23, folks. You guys have a wonderful day. I appreciate you watching, liking, and subscribing to our different channels. We really need that support, folks. Thanks.